I come across this history of uh, hypnosis and belief and um, how this belief could just change your life in, in different ways. Um, let me start give you some details about this story. So there was like a guy um, that he had some issue with his lower lips. So he had apparently a very big lower lip and it was not fitting his, his face very in a, in a normal way. And, um, and this guy had a girlfriend and um, and he was really in love with his girlfriend and uh, he asked several times his girl girlfriend to marry her but then the woman told him that she's not ready to marry him because of lower lip and um, and this is an issue for her so then then the poor guy just convinced that maybe he just need to do something with his lower lips and probably take a surgery or something and um, he went to a doctor a surgeon and asked him that um, and just told him what the situation is that he's in love with uh, a girl and the girl says that she's not marrying him because of uh, his uh, his lip and then the doctor told him that I can, I don't see any issue with your lip everything looks fine I think she's just giving you some excuses she doesn't love you and she just try to tell you that um, she's not ready so the guy said no she loves me uh, I'm just also spending a lot of money and give her too much money and um, and I know that she loves me and I'm just giving her a lot of money and um, uh, the doctor said no she's just in love with your money not not you and so the guy was not accepting this um, this idea of the doctor and finally told him that he should do this surgery and the doctor told him that okay I'm gonna do the surgery in a very fair price for you but then you need to go to your girl and tell her that you have to spend all your money for this surgery because this costs too much and the guy accepted so he did the surgery and everything was good and then the guy went to his girl and told her that okay he spent a lot of money on this surgery and then after a while his girlfriend told him that how stupid you are that you just spent all your money on this surgery and this hasn't changed anything because I don't love you and I didn't love you at the very beginning. I was just loving you because of your money. So you just wasted your money and you still doesn't look good and I don't have any any emotions for you. So they they actually fought and argued a lot and then finally they tried to try to separate and then um, the girl told him that uh, she's gonna use any black magic that she could ever think of and then apply it on him and make his, his life um, worse and want him to suffer all his life they separated and after a while this guy had this belief all the time that uh, she's gonna use the black magic and um, out of sudden he he got like a 
I don't know, a small tumor or something on inside his mouth that was growing during the time. And he just accepted that this is coming because this girl is just trying different black magics on him. And then this guy was really believed this idea and he was just really sad and uh, worried and he aged really really fast so it looks like like in a couple of days he aged like 20 years and then he went back to his surgeon and told him and uh, told him the issue and the doctor noticed that he just really got old during this short amount of time and then saw his uh, his, his um, tumor inside his his mouth and said this is not something serious he just like it's grow up because there is some inf it's infected and there's something inside I could just do like a small surgery and just take all these dirt out and then you're gonna be fine you don't have to to worry so he made the this small surgery and showed all these there that came out of this small tumor showed it to the guy and said this is why this was growing up and then now this is, has been removed and you're gonna be fine so <laughs> after a month the guy sent the doctor a very nice letter and told him that he was right he just cured perfectly and there's nothing wrong anymore uh, and he went back to his city and just married um, his favorite girl that he was in love from the very young ages and then he also got back his his youth and this come back to the idea that how easily it is for people to be hypnotized and and affected by someone else's idea and take this as a belief and always think about it like a, like like this is like a current in your mind and just running all the time and never stops this gives us a huge amount of stress that could easily ruin our life and and, and age us really really quick um yeah so always good to be mindful about such kind of flows and currents in our brain that we are always dealing with it doesn't matter to be a story like this but always all the small things like like something is wrong wrong in our job or we have some other small issues in our family and we are always thinking about this without paying attention that what this thinking and stress gives back to our body and um, yeah good to be mindful and be aware of this issue